Yo, Adam Saxton with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we are gonna look at how do we disable automatic signup for users coming into our tenant, or what I like to refer to as blocking viral signup. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos that we crank out. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. All right, viral signup or signing up for the Power BI service without a license or without user creation. As an admin, you may wanna control that because you may not want just anyone coming in and using a particular item. In this case, we're talking about Power BI. So how do we stop people from just automatically being able to get into Power BI? Because as an IT admin, I wanna control who has access to what. But before we go through and show how to actually block the viral signup for your tenant, let's actually take a look at what it looks like when we sign up as a new user. So. Let's head over to my computer and we will go ahead and sign in. Let's go ahead and sign in and we will be Mr. Joe Black. And the first thing that we'll see after we've signed in is we will get kicked over to the Office 365 signup flow. And one thing it will show us is that we have, it recognizes that there's an account already there. So for this specific user, this user already had an actual user account inside of my tenant. And if we jump over to that real quick, and just prove this to you. So we'll come down, we'll find a Joe Black. And what you'll see here is this given user, all he's got is an E3 license. So if we look at licenses, you'll see that E3 is there. They don't have a Power BI free license and he doesn't have a Power BI Pro license. So he's only got the E3 license. Now you would also see an experience here where if the user didn't exist in the tenant at all, this process would actually go through and create that user and then assign the right license to it. This would go through an email flow to verify who that person is. All right, so in this case, we're gonna go ahead and, yep, sign in. We know that it's already there, almost there. Yep, let's go ahead and start and we're gonna skip sending out invitations. And then it says, no need to sign up. We've already got a license. All right, cool. And then that takes me into Power BI. So the admin didn't have to do anything. I just went to powerbi.com, signed up for Power BI, and bam, I'm in Power BI. Awesome. Now, if we go back to the admin portal, we go back and look at Joe Black, go to licenses, what we'll see now is that this user now has a Power BI free license. So as part of the viral signup, you will get a free license assigned to your account. This is what lets you into the Power BI service. Okay, so what happens is, is that our admin though, they don't want free licenses in their organization. Maybe, maybe that's what they want. They want any user that's using Power BI, they wanna be able to assign a pro license to it, or maybe they don't care about free licenses, but they want to at least control the license assignment to those users. Let's go ahead and start up. We'll start off with a new user here. So let's go back. First thing we have to do is we actually have to disable viral signup. We're gonna use PowerShell to actually do that. This is using the MS Online PowerShell commandlets. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and sign in. All right, we are signed in. So what we can do first, there's a property here called allow ad hoc subscriptions. So by disabling that, we can actually go ahead and block that viral signup. So right now it is set to true, which means we do allow ad hoc subscriptions for our tenant. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set it to false. So let's go ahead and run this command. All right, so now if we go back and look, it is now set to false, which is good. So we have blocked viral signup for this tenant. So now let's go back and try and sign up. All right, we're gonna go sign up free. All right, we're gonna do, we'll just say joe at guyinacube.com. And then we get an awesome error message, which says that our IT department has turned off sign up for Microsoft Power BI please contact your admin. And of course, you know who your admin is. 
So this message means that viral signup has been blocked. You can see that I can't sign up as this user inside of Power BI itself. Some words of caution here, disabling viral signup for your tenant, this is not a Power BI specific thing. It could affect other services. So I know like uh, the stream service for videos is affected by this. I believe education signup is affected by this. So you could be affecting more than just Power BI. So definitely be aware of that if you're looking to do this. Some other things that I wanna explain here, I've because I've had these questions before. If we go back to the Office 365 admin portal, let's go to billing and let's go to licenses. And one of the things that we'll have here, let's go ahead and make this a little closer here. Okay, so one thing we'll see here is the Power BI Free. We see that we have an unlimited amount of license for Power BI Free. One question I get though is, hey, my tenant doesn't have that license block for Power BI Free. How do I get it? And the way that you get it is a user has to sign up for Power BI for the first time during that viral signup process. That's the only way you're gonna get this unlimited license block. There is a way that you can add Power BI free licenses directly just using the subscription option. So you don't have to pay anything, but you can get a certain block of licenses from the subscription area inside of Office 365. But if you do want that unlimited block, you have to have at least one user that signs up using viral signup. So if you really do want that license block, you would have to enable ad hoc subscriptions, sign up with one user to get that license block in there, and then disable the viral signup after that. Or just go and add the free licenses manually through subscriptions. You can have as many as you want. So now let's go back and change this back to true. So this is what we would do is if we wanted to re-enable ad hoc subscriptions, Go and run it. And then if we look again, now it is back to true. Pretty easy. All right, what do you guys think? Are you actually disabling viral signup in your organization if you're the admin? Or have you encountered this error message and been like, I don't know what to do. Maybe this helped you. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.